we are heading toward the York River and then we're going to go up to Sarah's Creek across from Yorktown and try to anchor there and if not then we'll head a little further up the river pick up a mooring ball at a uh, public mooring ball field. Yeah in Yorktown River Walk. What time do we get up in the morning? We tried to get up at 5 30 <laughs> but it really wasn't a huge push we got up at 6 and then we're off the dock by about 6 30. Yeah we wanted to make sure we caught the good winds because it was going to shift. Yes us. yes going to shift dramatically. We need to head north about 10 nautical miles and we've got a westerly wind and then it shifts all the way up to the north in about an hour uh, period of time around 11 a.m. and so we're gonna kind of wind vein it and then once the wind starts changing we'll tack back down. And we're hoping that it shifts yeah. to north then but we may right. have to motor in. I think I've counted 15 fishing boats out this morning. It's Saturday. And, <laughs> and it's early in the morning, yeah. so that must be the best time to fish. We found a high concentration of man caves. <laughs> Personal man caves. Yep. yep. <laughs> I go through the fishing bowl. <laughs> right. Maybe there's a woman cave out there. I don't know. but <laughs> All we have seen are men. Right before the Coleman Bridge, we turn into Sarah's Creek. We go past the York River Yacht Haven and head into a finger of Sarah's Creek on our port side. We decide to anchor here for the night. Here at Sarah's Creek, off of York River. We head across the York River to Yorktown. The current is quite strong on the York River, so we try to cross the river quickly. I'm trying to keep all my weight up here. You all up there with you. <laughs> Add a little weight. That must be the mooring field over there. Okay, yeah, it looks like it. I talked to somebody and they said it, it was supposed to be open. Now we don't have to deal with the dramatic tide and currents. Yes. When you feel the world is over When you say you're feeling lonely If you ever need a show
trophies engraved with the inscription Surrender by the Capitulation of Yorktown, October 19, 1781. British brass guns, howitzers, and mortars. 244 artillery pieces in all. And that cooperating. if you got all the room to stay. This would be like a pyramid of dogs. <laughs> no dog pyramid for you today. <laughs> That'd be a good thing. To uh, they just kept, we just kept picking them up every two years. This is Cole Diggins house. 1730. It's very cute how they've done it up. The Yorktown Windmill. It was a guidepost. It was on the York River. <laughs> this is part of the pack today, right? <laughs> So what did you think of Yorktown? Uh, I thought it was a, a lot of fun where we anchored, right near the Yacht Club mm -hmm. there, a beautiful Yacht Club, and then being able to go across the York River over to the historic park and beach area. It was fun to see a whole lot of people out. And then on top of it, uh, just all the long walks through the historic park area, and even finding some open fields away from everything, letting the dogs run around a little bit and sniff. So there was a lot to do and yeah. we got a lot done. The National Park was really enjoyable. It was fun seeing all the cannons and it was interesting seeing how they had redone all of the dirt structure for the battlements. Yeah, they had pushed it up so you could walk through and you could envision what it would have been like during the Revolutionary War. Right. You could actually see the lines, both the uh, British lines and the American independent lines were you can see where the cannons are all lined up. Really cool to envision what was going on there. Yes. Um, they keep it up really nice. And Yorktown is such an interesting site because of its historical significance that it was the, the last battle of the American Revolution. So it just has a real interesting significance. And the cobblestone roads and the old mm -hmm. uh, colonial uh, buildings in the area. Yeah, lots of historical houses that they've kept up. It's just very interesting to kind of see what it was like in that era to some degree. From a nautical perspective, the marina there right at Yorktown is where the York River narrows up and the bridge crosses. But there is a humongous amount of current right there. Right off the shore, it drops immediately to like 50 feet deep. And when the current is uh, um, ebbing and flowing, it is really strong. Like how they keep those docks there, it, there must be massive anchors in place to keep those docks there. And we didn't stay at the mooring balls, but they were huge. Yeah. I would love to go back there and yeah. stay at the mooring balls because they're really large. We found a beautiful creek yes. to hide in. And it, there wasn't much of a current there, right. so it was so much easier to anchor there than it would have been over at the mooring balls, I right. think.